Today, I finally have release info for next-gen RTX 60 cards and RX 10,000. But before I get to that, we have some new deals. Intel and AMD's next-gen gaming chips are said to be even more insane than we thought, and a new Chinese CPU that's x86? Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, we have Cyber Monday and Black Friday deals still going on right now. So I wanted to quickly go over some new ones that I really like. As always, I'll have affiliate links down in the description below. So they don't cost you anything more and it helps the channel out. Starting things off, we have a couple GPUs. While I know GPU prices aren't great by any means, they're almost guaranteed to go up. So I really suggest picking one up as soon as you can. Right off the bat, we have the MSI Shadow RTX 5070 for $499.99. Though the 5070 isn't my favorite card right now, it is below MSRP. Next, we have the MSI Ventus 5060 Ti for $449 on Amazon. Following that up is the Intel Core Ultra 7 265K, and that one's $309.99, but you get an extra $50 off with this promo code. Intel CPUs have gotten quite a bit better since their launch and the prices have dropped as well. So that definitely makes these more attractive. Moving on is the fully modular Corsair RM1000E, and as the name suggests, this is of course a 1000 watt modular PSU, and it's ATX 3.1. This one really is a good deal for $129.99. And lastly, we have a Seagate Iron Wolf Pro. This bad boy is 16 terabytes right now. It's nearly $100 off at $299.99. Once again, if you're interested in any of these, I will have affiliate links down in the description below. Next up, Intel's next-gen desktop CPUs are set to be absolute monsters, and AMD's 10,000X3D are looking just as good. In my recent video, I discussed a leak claiming that AMD's next-gen X3D chips are about to get an unreal 144 megabytes of L3 cache. But get this, Intel's Nova Lake is leaked to also come with 144 megabytes of L3 cache and chips that have a BLLC, or Big Last Level Cache. Basically, these are meant to challenge AMD's X3D gaming chips. Well, this time, things are getting even better. So we're looking at a leak from one of the most accurate leakers in the past, Cobite 7 Kimmy. According to him, Intel is set to launch four SKUs, specifically K SKUs, with BLLC. You can see what these SKUs are right down here. You can see that we have one that's 8 plus 12 and one that's 8 plus 16. These are, of course, the Intel Core Ultra 5 chips, but it doesn't stop there, and this is really where it gets wild. So you can see he also claims, so the third chip is set to come with 8 plus 12 and 8 plus 12. So that means two different chiplets here as well as 8 plus 16 and 8 plus 16. Now, the interesting part about this is the fact that if this is true, those two chiplets each are actually set to come with BLLC, meaning we could be looking at a chip with upwards of 288 megabytes of L3 cache. Not only that, but because AMD's rumored to launch a current gen chip with 3D vCache on both chiplets, remember that's the X3D2 CPU. If Intel does something like this, you can all but guarantee that AMD will do the same. Meaning, if this is right, we're looking at both companies releasing gaming CPUs with 288 megabytes Megabytes of L3 cache. Gaming will never be the same. Next up, we have what is quite possibly the weirdest story of the year so far. A gaming PC has just been released that comes with a Chinese-made x86 CPU that's not AMD or Intel. Well, Sort of. As you can see right down here, Thunder Obot has launched a new PC based on an x86 chip that's not made by AMD or Intel. It's called the Black Warrior Hunter Pro Desktop, and it comes with a Hygen C86 chip. And you can see that chip right here. Now, 
Thunder Obot actually claims that this is the quote, first domestically produced gaming PC. But as it happens a lot when it comes to China, their domestically produced stuff isn't all that domestic. Because well, for one, it's an Nvidia GPU, so that doesn't make much sense. But about the x86 chip, it's a bit complicated. So as you can see here, this is something that started all the way back in 2018. And like I said, it's a a bit complicated, but let's start right here. It says apparently AMD made it possible with a complicated commercial setup involving joint ventures, holding companies, licensing agreements. I mean, this is really wild. So as Tom's Hardware puts it, HMC is licensing some x86 IP to Hygen, which then designs chips and sells those designs to HMC. HMC then employs a foundry to make the chips and then sells all of those chips to Hygen, which then markets them. Yeah, like I said, this is really wild, but the IP is apparently based on Zen 1. Therefore, the CPUs are of course going to be closed closely related to AMD's original Ryzen chips all the way back in 2017. This particular chip is said to have a modest base clock of 2.8 gigahertz, so as they state, it achieves 1072 single core points in Geekbench 6. And that obviously isn't all that great, but of course we are talking first gen Ryzen. Oh, and it comes with 16 cores and 32 threads. Basically, China is selling a not so much rebranded first gen Ryzen because it is technically produced by them, but the designs come from AMD. And they're selling it as the first domestically produced gaming PC, yet it also has an NVIDIA GPU. To say that this is very deceptive would be an understatement, but I guess you could sort of say the CPU is China made. Regardless, this won't exactly be all that powerful. And lastly for today, we just got our first look at a release date for AMD's next-gen RX 10,000 and NVIDIA's next-gen RTX 6000 GPUs. And it's bad. So as many of you know, RX 9000 and RTX 5000 launched early this year. And with a typical two year cadence, we would expect a release in 2027, or if we're lucky, towards the end of 2026, if they could get it done in time for Christmas. Well, according to a new video from Red Gaming Tech, RTX 60 GPUs were originally set to launch in Q1 or early Q2 of 2027. But AIB partners are now a bit skeptical about that launch launch, as they're now expecting late 2027 or early 2028. As for AMD, they were originally planning a late 2026 or early 2027 launch, but now we're looking at potentially a Computex 2027 launch, which would be a bit later into 2027. As for why, if I had to bet, I'd say it all comes down to the memory supply. Things just seem to be getting worse and worse, with tons of stories proving that the next year will not be fun for PC gaming. So while that does it for today, what do you think about China's first gaming PC? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out those links to the deals down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.